Hello lovelies! So today we have a special unboxing which many of you know is the second installment of Yoseka's Origin Pen series. This one is the Refresh Sailor Pro Gear Slim. Now this morning my mom surprised me with this pen and I had no idea that it was coming in so excuse my hands they're going to be shaky with excitement. This is my first sailor pen so I have no idea what to expect. All I know is from turning this box around that it is a broad nib. <laughs> As many of you guys know from watching Yoseka's launch video, this pen is dedicated to their amazing team. So I feel like this is going to be such a special first time Sailor Gold Nib pen. So when you first open it, you see Yoseka's Refresh paperwork. And oh my goodness, this pen is beautiful. Oh, let me put this to the side and look at what's inside this box. So in here we have Sailor's Warranty. We have two, I'm assuming, black cartridges and one ink converter. And we also have some instructions, I believe, which I will definitely have to read, but it seems like any other fountain pen. So it should be simple enough. Oh my goodness, taking this pen out of that little plastic packaging, it is so beautiful. It is very hard to describe this color and I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick it up well. I wanna say it looks like sea glass. It is definitely a blue-green, a milky blue-green. And it is just such a nice beachy pen, which is so fitting for where I live. Look at the details on this nib. Look at how beautiful this engraving is. This is so beautiful. And I really love the finial and that peach finial with the Sen character. Oh. Okay, so now to ink up this pen. So I chose Sailor Studio 162 because it is kind of a sea green with some pinkish purplish shading, which I feel would be really fitting for the pen. Good old crusty dusty inking mat. I had a little spill, but we'll turn it around. It's okay. No one has to see it. I'm trying to decide if I want to use a cartridge or just fill it in and I think I'm just gonna fill it in because black is just boring so so yeah this converter does not feel luxurious at all okay so I had a hard time filling up this pen like I could only fill it up halfway which is enough for now I'm not going to keep messing around with it. Do I love the converter? No, not at all. But um, you know which is the worst converter? Do you remember the Caveco little squeeze converters? Now those suck. Now this is the moment of truth. How does this nib feel? So this nib is a 14 karat nib. And it's definitely not a scratchy pen at all. It is super smooth. It has that sailor feedback that everyone talks about and it's hard to describe. It's something you have to try out yourself. 
Now, because Japanese bras are supposed to be comparable with Western medium nibs, I'm going to be comparing this to two different Kaveco Sport medium nibs. For me, Kaveco nibs just vary differently from each other. Some of my mediums are more on the finer side, others are almost a broad. So Iridescent Pearl has a finer nib and I know this Fox one has a slightly broader nib, if that's even a word. <laughs> It's true what they say, Japanese pens are very comparable to a medium nib. Granted, I just inked this pen, so the feed is super juicy, so I'm sure it'll even appear thinner once all that excess ink is used up. Here you can see with my slightly broader medium nib, it's pretty much the same width. I was just writing on a Midori cotton paper pad. I'm curious to see if this nib will feel differently on Tomoe River paper. Now, I used up my notebook recently, so I'm going to be using my Bible Studies insert. And I'll just use the last page. It'll be fine. <laughs> Yeah, there actually is a difference with how this pen feels. On Tomoe River paper, you can definitely feel more of that sailor feedback. Again, it is not a scratchy nib at all. It is just a pencil, almost a pencil-like feedback. Maybe a smooth pencil. <laughs> a well-used pencil, I guess. Ugh, it writes so beautifully. I really like this pen. Mom, if you're watching, thank you so, so much. It is perfect. It is beautiful. I really enjoy making this type of video. So if you guys have any other pens you would like me to try out, or if you would like me to compare this pen to anything else, let me know in the comments down below. And I would also like to know, what is your favorite fountain pen? What pen are you currently loving right now? Thank you all. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.